From his unique and versatile fighting style to his reputation of being unbeatable, this is why fighters are really scared of John Jones. And it all starts with his world-famous striking. Jones has a crazy reach advantage thanks to his long limbs, and he uses them to devastating effect. He's like a human octopus in there, throwing punches and kicks from all angles. And just when you think you've got him figured out, he'll switch it up and take you down with a sneaky trip or throw. But that's not all. Jones is also a beast on the ground. He's got some serious grappling skills and can submit you with his long arms in a heartbeat. Plus, he's got a mean ground and pound game. So if you do end up on your back, you better be ready to defend yourself. And let's not forget about his wrestling. Jones can take down even the best wrestlers in the game. And once he's got you on the mat, good luck getting back up. Hey, to break a record, to become a part of American history in this way, UFC history in this way, I, I wouldn't want it easy. I would not want it easy. If this stuff was easy. His takedowns are so devastating that they feel like being struck by a train. But what really sets Jones apart is his ability to adapt to his opponent's style. He's like a chameleon in there, changing his game plan on the fly to take advantage of his opponent's weaknesses. That's what makes him so hard to beat. You never know what he's going to do next. He's certainly a force to be reckoned with. And his unique fighting style is what sets him apart from the rest of the pack. So whenever a fighter sees Jones on the other side of the cage, they usually pack an extra pair of underwear, just in case. Now, we all know that John Jones is a beast in the octagon, but did you know that his physical presence plays a big part in his success? For starters, Jones has the wingspan of a pterodactyl. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but his reach is seriously insane. He's got arms that go on for days, and he uses them to keep his opponents at bay. I mean, imagine trying to punch someone who's standing on the other side of a a swimming pool. That's what it's like to face John Jones. And it's not just his reach that's impressive. Jones is also a tall dude. At 6'4", he towers over most of his opponents, which gives him a natural advantage in the striking game. Plus, his height allows him to generate more power in his punches and kicks, which can be downright terrifying. But it's not just his limbs that are impressive. Jones is also incredibly athletic. He moves like a cat in there, darting in and out of range with ease. And when he does decide to throw a strike, he puts his whole body into it, generating insane amounts of power. And let's not forget about his cardio. Jones can go five rounds like it's nothing, and he always seems to have gas left in his tank. That's a testament to his conditioning and work ethic, which is second to none. His physical attributes definitely play a big role in making him so damn intimidating to fighters. He's got the reach, height, athleticism, and cardio to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in the game. With that combo, his opponents are almost always at a disadvantage advantage in one way or another. And even when they're not, Jones will find that disadvantage. This dude is a true jack-of-all-trades. With a record of 27 wins and only one loss, Jones has dominated the light heavyweight division for years. He's won the championship belt not once, but twice, and he's beaten some of the best fighters in the game, including Daniel Cormier and Alexander Gustafsson. But Jones didn't stop there. He decided to take a break from fighting in 2020, and when he made his comeback, three years later, he did it in the heavyweight division. Yeah, I felt like my candle for the light heavyweight blew out. Um, my, you know, my last fights were getting pretty, pretty close. They were getting more and more competitive. Now, going up against the most feared heavyweight in the division, Cyril Ghosn, would be a daunting task for anyone. But not John Jones. He stepped up to the challenge and absolutely dominated Ghosn at UFC 284, winning the heavyweight championship in the process. That's right, Jones is now a two-division champion, and his talent isn't limited to just one weight class. It was also another example of how Jones can easily adapt to his opponent's fighting style. I've gone on on and on about just how skilled he is as a fighter, but it's pretty much impossible to understate. But it's not just his skills that make him versatile, it's his mental game too. Jones is a master at mind games, and he's been known to get in his opponent's heads before they even step into the cage. Man, such a beautiful moment. Man, I did a lot of right things to get back in this position. He's got a way of making his opponents doubt themselves and second-guess their game plan, which can be a huge advantage in a sport where confidence is key. All in all, John Jones' versatility as a fighter is what makes him so terrifying to his opponents. He can fight in multiple weight classes, adapt his style to fit his opponents, and mess with their heads in the process. And that's just another reason why his opponents think twice before stepping into the ring with him. But there's one attribute that's often overlooked, his mental toughness. This guy is an 
an absolute monster in the head game. Think about it. Jones has been in some of the toughest fights in UFC history, and he's come out on top every single time. He's faced some of the most skilled and aggressive fighters out there, but he never loses his cool. In fact, he seems to thrive under pressure. Jones has an uncanny ability to stay focused and composed, even when things aren't going his way. Take his first fight against Alexander Gustafsson, for example. Gustafsson had Jones in trouble from the get-go, but Jones refused to give up. He kept his cool and kept fighting, and in the end, he came out on top. Or how about his fight against Daniel Cormier? The two had a heated rivalry leading up to their first fight, but Jones didn't let that get to him. He stayed calm and collected and ended up winning the fight in dominant fashion. I beat you after a weekend of and dudes. <laughs> hey, that's hey, that's wait. Jeez. I thought hey, I thought I thought I thought that first time was the first time you did. And let's not forget about Jones' legal troubles outside of the octagon. He's faced DUI charges, hit-and-run charges, and PED-related charges, but he always manages to bounce back. He's able to compartmentalize and stay focused on his fighting career, no matter what else is going on in his life. All of this can be absolutely terrifying for his opponents. They know that no matter what happens in the fight, Jones isn't going to break. He's not going to give up or get flustered. He's going to keep coming at them no matter what. So. If you're planning on stepping into the cage with John Jones, you'd better be prepared for a mental battle as well as a physical one. He's not just a skilled fighter, he's a mentally tough one too. And that's what makes him so damn scary. But at the end of the day, there's just one word to describe him. Unbeatable. Jones has only lost one fight in his entire career, and that was due to disqualification for illegal elbows. Other than that, he's absolutely dominated every opponent he's faced. He's got the skills, the athleticism, the experience, and the mental toughness to take on anyone in the UFC. He's a true master of the craft, and he's constantly evolving and improving his game. Even when he took a break from fighting, he came back stronger and more dominant than ever. He moved up to the heavyweight division and beat one of the scariest heavyweights out there, just to prove that he could. At this point, it's hard to see anyone beating John Jones. He's just too good. He's a once-in-a-generation talent, and we're lucky to be living at a time Time when we get to see him in action. So, if you're a UFC fighter and you find out that you're going up against John Jones, well, good luck. You're gonna need it. I would have never made it this far. And I tell you what, for all you prayer warriors out there, I felt you so strongly all week. And I just want to thank each and every one of you who prayed for me. So, from his unbeatable reputation to his insanely versatile fighting style, this is why fighters are really scared of John Jones.